Hey guys, it's Lopez, and today I'm reviewing Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Forever. Alright guys, so this is an EDP, Eau de Parfum. This is the 100ml bottle, 3.3 fluid ounces. So we're going to start off with the box presentation. You get a nice blue suede surrounding the box. Very soft. Dolce & Gabbana. Gold lettering. Information, ingredients. Barcode. We're going to go ahead and unbox it. So this is the fragrance out of the box. It fits great in the hand. The color of the bottle is like a blue, I want to say like a turquoise or a teal color. And you get the gold lettering as well. The cap made of plastic. You get a gold atomizer. The price range for this fragrance is $70 to $80. You get some information down here. I'm going to show you guys what it sprays like. I'm going to spray the box. Sprays moderately. I mean, it can be better. So the notes that I pick up for this fragrance, the main note is grapefruit. I get fresh. I get citrusy. And I get fizzy. Fizzy as like a soda, like a grapefruit soda, I would say, like a squirt. So the notes that are listed for this fragrance are grapefruit, bergamot, ozonic notes, violet leaf, java vetiver oil, white musk, and patchouli. This fragrance was released in 2021. The best time to use this fragrance is in the summer or in the spring. You can typically use it whenever you want, but it's gonna perform the best in hot, humid days because it's a very fresh fragrance. What's the duration on this fragrance? I'm getting two hours of projection, five hours on the skin, and eight hours on the clothing. I would recommend doing 10 sprays with this fragrance. It's a light fragrance, it's very fresh, and you might wanna adjust accordingly with the sprays because everybody's body is different, and some people may require seven sprays, five sprays, 15 sprays, but I stick with 10, a safe 10. Do I recommend this fragrance? Yes, it smells like squirt. It's very fizzy, it's fresh, it's citrusy, and it's a flanker to the light blue family. Everybody knows the original light blue, how successful it was. The only issue with it was the performance. It was no good. Then they came up with other flankers, which some of them were either a hit or a miss. This one's one of the better flankers. It has a nice kick to it. It smells like grapefruit, like a very, I want to say like a natural smelling grapefruit. And I personally think this is a very good fragrance. Would I repurchase this fragrance? Yes, but only if it went down in price. I think 70 to 80 is fair, but if it was cheaper, it's even better. It smells very good. They do have a 50 mil. You can choose from a 50 mil or a 100 mil. I usually stick with the hundreds because it just, it's more fragrance. But a 50 mil is perfect for like blind buys. And if you're trying to test out a fragrance, you can't buy a sample, those little small samples, then get the 50 mil. It's a lot cheaper than the 100 mil, just in case you like it or not. But the 100 mils and the 50 mils, you can choose from either or. So this fragrance reminds me of Paris Hilton for men because of the grapefruit. The grapefruit in this is a lot more natural. It's a lot stronger and it just smells a lot better. The uh, Paris Hilton for men, that one smells really nice. I mean, it's a great cheapie. You're paying about 15 to $20 for a 3.4 fluid ounce, and it smells very similar to this. But this smells of higher quality. I would say it's a lot better. I mean, you're paying for it. I mean, the other one is 15 to $20, and this one's almost 100 So I'm gonna give this fragrance overall a thumbs up because it smells really nice. I have a feeling that in the summer or in the springtime, it's going to project very nicely. Usually uh, clean fragrances like this are safe blind buys because, you know, freshies, they're usually pretty, you know, to everyone's nose, they're pleasing to everyone's nose, but you have to adjust the sprays accordingly. Some fragrances, for example, Aqua Digio, the very first one, the EDT, everybody had issues with it, but it smells so amazing. I've never had any issues with it because I overspray. Um, for that fragrance, I would easily do about 10 to 15, you know, throughout the whole chest and neck area. And I had no issues with uh, usual 
uh, daytime fragrances like this one, you know, um, the freshies. Anyways, guys, that was it for today. Until next time, this was Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Forever. Thank you.